Hey, we are gonna do some welding today. So we've got our trusses here, got our legs here, we got our welder here, all of our safety gear. Welcome back to E7 Acres. Today we are working on getting the trusses mounted up on the side containers, the interior containers, so we can begin getting the roof on. So the goal is to take the shorter legs because we're going to have a mono roof. Um, one side is going to be about three foot off the container and then the um, other side that will be the north side the south side will be about 11 feet off the container yeah 11 feet off the container so we will place we'll place the smaller shorter legs on this side right here focus on my finger there we go on this side right here and the longer ones will be over here on the south side. So James is getting James is getting us ready to get that going this morning. And let's see. Let's take a look at the trusses. So here is our bundle of trusses. Got looks like six of them. They're about 32 feet long. And then right over there, we have the long legs and behind it are the short legs. Hey, we are gonna do some welding today. So we've got our trusses here, we've got our legs here, we've got our welder here, all of our safety gear. Um, and we're going to weld our trusses to our legs and then we'll stand those up and weld them to our top of our containers. And then we're also going to bolt them down, but the weld will be the stronger point in the holding. Um, we've got some uh, some stuff. We don't do welding for a living, so we had to go buy some stuff. So what do we have here? So we have flappy disc. This is for sanding. The flat disc, or it's flat disc. We have some. What are, what? what are we using the disc for? Uh, we're grinding down like some of the welds, but we're also removing the paint because the trusses came pre-painted black. And then obviously the containers have paint on them, so we want to get down to some raw metal. That way we have a good um, adhesion connection fastening point to for the steel. Earplugs, earmuffs. These are my beautiful wife Amanda's earmuffs. I have some, but we got her some. Protect your ears. Things get loud. Things get loud. Um, we have. Welding magnets. This is what we'll use to hold the legs to the truss so it holds it tight. Magnetize there, there, and it holds it on there. Along with some clamps that I already have, that way we get a good and nice straight weld. Got our welding gloves. Nope. Bolting gloves. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had it on the item and not you. Okay. Uh, knee pads. We're going to be up on those containers, and so Amanda's going to do a lot of the grinding up there. We mark them so she's got her knee pads for grinding. I <laughs> uh, got us some work gloves because we've got leather gloves, but these are just good to have, just regular gloves to wear. We got our seven piece to go for what Amanda's going to do. She can has a seven piece grinder set. So this is wire brushes and everything. That way we can grind and then brush and clean up. That'll go on the our disc grinder. I uh, got some masks just to help with the paint and stuff that's going to be flying off in the air. I've got a cheapy welding helmet on Chicago Electric, obviously. I don't know anything about them. Our freight stuff. That's where all this came from. We're not doing this for a living, we're doing it for our little farm. So, this stuff hopefully will work good for us. We got our welding sticks. We bought a new welder, um, stick welder. So. Right now, 
now we're starting to put the roof trusses together. We have removed all the spot welds and all that to release the bundle. So now we're going to bring over all three pieces of the trusses and lay them out. I'll turn the camera around here a little bit so you guys can see that. Uh, James is loading up a short leg and a long leg and then he'll also get the truss itself and uh, we're going to get them laid out, get them bolted together, go ahead and put them on the roof. Uh, we're going to try to bolt it on the ground and then get it up and see how that works. We may end up having to figure out a way to bolt on while we're up on the roof, but we're just kind of figuring this out right now. Uh, trial and error, right? So hopefully this isn't an error though. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. We will need to weld them, but as of right now, while we have the forklift, we're just going to get them up there and then go from there. So keep watching.